Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man young, wealthy, and wise. I need you to do me a favor. Do more than just exist. You come from greater stock than just taking up space. Leaving this world better than you found it is your responsibility as a human being. Utilizing the gifts that you were given at birth is how you leave this world better than you found it. Leaving an impact, a legacy for the next generation to follow. Now let me tell y'all something about dreams. Listen up, because this is something I found out a long time ago that goes against everything you see in a movie, on TV. Dreams don't happen overnight. <laughs> that ain't how it works. See, they come to you in the daylight. You got to be awake. Because, mm -hmm. baby, you got to run dreams down. See, that chase, that chase, that chase is what we learn the most about ourselves. To take that extra step, that extra mile, that extra rep. Now, look, you don't never know how long it's going to take or exactly what it'll look like when you get there. The only thing you know is you can never stop. The key to winning is intentionally putting yourself in uncomfortable situations. Intentionally putting yourself in uncomfortable and difficult situations. Make it your mission to become more disciplined. Make it your mission to become more mentally hardened. If you make one promise to yourself this year, make it this, that you are going to solve the fundamental problem that has kept you in this place of dissatisfaction for so long. You are going to address the core issue, and the core issue is that you lack the ability to do things when you don't feel like doing them. In the face of adversity, there lies an incredible opportunity for growth. You see, greatness isn't born from comfort and ease. It is carved out of challenges, sculpted from setbacks. Forget what you've been told about the limits of your potential. Based on where you came from, what's happened to you, the color of your skin, or the balance in your bank account. Those are just factors, not predictors. To get through the challenges you'll face in life on your way to success, you have to be a warrior. What's a warrior? It's not someone who just wants to fight all the time. When they lose a job, they believe a better one is on the way. When you lose friends, you automatically believe that better ones are on the way. When everyone stops believing in you, you not only have to believe in yourself, but you have to believe in yourself so much it overpowers and overweighs all the lack of belief by other people. You say, that's okay, I believe in myself for the both of us. I believe in myself for all of us. I don't need your belief. When everything falls apart, the warrior believes that everything will be put right back into place better than ever. Be a warrior. I believe there's some good in every situation that we face. I believe if you train your mind to see the good in the situations that you don't like, that brings you discomfort, that brings you a certain level of opposition, I believe if you train your mind to see the good in it, it's easy to extract it. Nothing changes if nothing changes, man. You have to change some things or nothing will change. Because once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. I think of Leonardo da Vinci who had a quote at the end of his life saying, after you've worked really hard during the day, you've toiled at something, you go to sleep and you have this great feeling like you accomplished something. But when you die, do you have that same feeling? Like I did something, I accomplished something, now I can die in peace. And I think the worst thing is in life would be to reach the age of 60, 65 and go, God, I could have been so much more. I could have created something. I could have done what I said I was going to do. I could have written that book, but I didn't. Whatever you're going through won't last forever. As stressful, frustrating, or demotivating as your circumstances might be, they will eventually pass. It's about the incremental steps. We all want that perfect body today. We all want the nice penthouse view, the car, the clothes. We all want that right now. But between where you are now and where you want to go, there's a whole library of lessons that must be learned. There are lessons that must be learned between where you are and where you need to go, and that is called the process. 
Ladies and gentlemen, embrace the process. Embrace the hardest parts of this journey because I promise you they're gonna keep coming in the future. This is not a one-time thing. They're going to continue to come at you until you learn the lesson you have to learn. And the reward for learning the lesson is one more lesson. Pretty fucking sure you told yourself you were gonna start on the first. And I'm pretty sure you told yourself again you were gonna start on the second. When's it gonna be? Make the fucking change that you need to make. Become the person you need to become. Now is the time to fix it. So don't wait another day. Don't wait till Monday. Don't wait another fucking year. Start today. It's okay to walk alone. It might be discouraging sometimes, but letting go of toxic people will be the most liberating thing you can do for your soul. The truth is, some people just don't want to see you succeed. They'd rather see you fail because the new version of you makes them uncomfortable. Most of us are only one to 10% away from greatness. But we think we're so far away from it that we never try. And once I started going down this journey, I started realizing that, and those percents started to add up. And before I knew it, my mind started hardening and I started passing so many different people that I thought were so far above me. And then before I knew it, man, I became a common amongst the uncommon.